Today on MTG Unpacked, it's time for a double dose of chaos! That's right, we're cracking open two more chaos mystery boxes. So these are the final ones for January 2020. And let's introduce the patrons. We have Emblazoned Aegis and You Mad Bra 99. So we're gonna roll for Emblazoned Aegis first. So one through three, four through six, let's go. Okay, so he gets this one. And the other one goes to you mad bra 99 all right so let's get stuck into it and these things are my vision for how a chaos mystery box should be and the theme this month is the gods of theros from the original theros block so you can probably guess what we're likely to find here oh there we are we've got a thassa all right so let's Check out the packs, we've got Modern Horizons, Eldraine, Guilds of Ravnica, War of the Spark, Theros, and Born of the Gods. So let's get our bland vegetables out of the way first. I'm not sure what you would consider. Uh, how about something like that? Okay, and thank you for being a patron and blazon Aegis. Okay, so we'll get some focus happening here. Boost the lighting and take a look. Okay, we have a foil, Thassa, God of the Sea. Legendary enchantment creature, God, 5-5 five, five for 3 with indestructible. So as your devotion of blue is less than 5, Thassa isn't a creature. And if you're not familiar with that, each blue in the mana cost permanence you control counts towards your devotion to blue. So that mechanic has made a comeback in the new Theros set. At the beginning of your upkeep, scry one, and for one in a blue, target creature you control can't be blocked this turn. Nice foiling there, and Thassa is quite a card in the new set. So, doing a lot of damage. Okay, so let's get stuck into it. Born of the Gods, and the patrons get the rares, mythics, foils, and anything over a buck. Okay, we're going to go digging into this. Start off here with Great Heart, Retraction Helix. Weight of the Underworld, Satessan Oathsworn Exorciate, Areska's Sun Guide, Divination, Nyxborn Rolica, Karametra's Favor, Stratus Walk, and Uncommon's Black Oak of Odinus, Zombie Tree Folk, very cool, Ferris Band Raiders, My Lettuce Astronomer, who knew that there were salad astronomers? And the rare is Pain Seer, creature human wizard 2 2 2 with Inspired. So whenever Pain Seer becomes untapped, reveal the top card of your library and put that card into your hand. You lose life equal to that card's converted mana cost. Alrighty, pop that over there. And the planes and a cat soldier. Okay, you gotta have the cat soldier token because that is just hilarious. Alright, Eldraino, I think. What are we? We're back to the regular packs now. I'm not sure what's going on. I did have a run of Japanese packs for a while there. Okay, we've got Opt, Bloodhaze Wolverine, Shining Armor, Run Away Together, Rose Thorn Acolyte, Lash of Thorns, Merfolk Secret Keeper, Fierce Witch Stalker, Prophet of the Peak, Wicked Guardian, and the Uncommons Giant Opportunity, Lock Dragon, Frogify, and the rare is Piper of the Swarm. Creature Human Wallet 1 3 for 2. Rats you control have menace! For 1 and black tap, create a 1 1 black rat creature token. Yes! For 2 and 2 black tap, sack 3 rats, gain control of target creature. Okay, that is one for the rat fans in Ireland, and no table required. I don't believe it, sir! Okay, next up, War of the Spark. And did anyone order the Secret Lair Year of the Rat set? I'm looking forward to getting those cards. Um, my shipping notification was the other day, so it will be coming up very soon. Stay tuned for that. Okay, next, War of the Spark, we have Invading Manticore, Gideon's Sacrifice, Naga Eternal, Vampire Opportunist, Steady Aim, Demolish. Lazotep Reaver, Defiant Strike, Erratic Visionary, Guild Globe, Uncommons, Leyline Prowler, Interplanar Beacon, A Shiok, Dream Render, of course! You had to make an appearance, I'll put that in as well, and rare, is Single Combat, Sorcery for 5. 
Each player chooses a creature or planeswalker they control, then sacks the rest players card, cast creature or planeswalker spells to the end of your next turn. Alright, a mountain and soldier token. Moving right along to guilds, which I think I need to order more guilds, I'm all out, so hopefully pick up another box soon. We have Ledev Guardian, Disdainful Stroke, Generous Stray, Severed Strands, Venati Shieldmate, Piston Fist Cyclops, Pitiless Gorgon, Hammer Dropper, Artful Takedown, Samala Woodshaper, and Uncommon's Hazdan Marshall, Crackling Drake. Thought Band Phantasm and Rare. Ooh, this is nice. Experimental Frenzy. Enchantment 4. You may look at the top card of your library anytime you play the top card of your library. You can't play cards from your hand. Interesting. For 3 and a red, destroy Experimental Frenzy. So this is a fun one in the mono red aggro decks. And an Izzet Guildgate and Bird Illusion token. Alrighty, on to Theros. And never fear, this weekend we will have more Theros Beyond Death and next month probably more than you care for but we are going to be cracking tons of packs. Stay tuned. Okay, we have Nylea's Presence, Fleet Feather Sandals, Satessan Griffin, Vaporkin, Satyr Hedonist, Read the Bones, Last Breath, Unknown Shores, Crackling Triton, and Uncommon Zamble Rot, Raptor, Vanquish the Fowl, Flamecast Wheel, and will it be a god? Let's check it out. It's a 4-2. It is a Boon Satyr. Enchantment Creature Satyr, 4-2 for 3 with Flash. So it has Bestow 3 and 2 green. If you cast this card for its Bestow cost, it's an Aura spell with Enchant Creature. Becomes a creature again if it's not attached to a creature. Okay, Enchanted Creature gets plus 4, plus 2. Okay. Ooh, and a foil, Traveler's Amulet. I think they reprinted that one as well. And an island, and a harpy token. All right, Modern Horizons. Hoping for Ren and Stimpy. I don't think we've ever pulled them from this set. You know who I'm talking about, people. Okay, we have Lava Dart, Chiller Pillar, Answered Prayers, Rhyme Tender, what I wish! There she is, Creature Goblin Shaman! Return from Extinction, Lancer Sliver, Windcaller Avon, Pyrophobia, Mind Rake, Uncommon's Ingenious Infiltrator, Blizzard Strix, Farmstead Gleaner, and rare is Unsettled Mariner, Creature Shapeshifter 222, has Changeling, so this card is every creature type. Whoa! Whenever you or a permanent you control becomes a target of a spell or ability and a permanent controls counter that spell or ability unless its controller pays one. Alright. Also chuck in a snow covered island and this excavating annuid, I believe he's called. And it's a elemental non-foil. Okay, so there we have it. That was fun to get to the A shop there, and of course the Thassa is a very nice pull there. So there you go, Emblazon Aegis, thank you once again. And moving on here, let's switch them around. We got New Mad Bra, 99. I hope he's not mad after the pulls today. Let's see what we've got. <clears throat> okay, pop it over there. Alrighty, Modern Horizons, Core 2020, Guilds, Mogus, yes. We'll take a look at him in a moment, War of the Spark. Theros and Born of the Gods. Okay, so <clears throat> we'll go something like this. Okay, and we'll take a look at Mogus. Okay, we have Mogus, God of Slaughter. Legendary enchantment creature god, 7-5. Whoa, for four in the Rakdos colors. Very nice. Foiling there, indestructible. So unless your devotion to black and red is less than seven, Mogus isn't a creature. And at the beginning of each opponent's upkeep, Mogus deals two damage to that player unless he or she sacrifices a creature. Nice. So that would make for a fun commander, I bet. Okay, leave a note in the comments if you've used that guy in your commander deck. Okay, born of the gods, which there he is. Maybe we'll pull another one. That'd be pretty hilarious. Okay, we've got Scouring Sands, Charging Badger, what? That's a card. Okay, I guess it's, if you can have a uh, Jackalope Herd, you can have Charging Badgers, Floodtide Serpent, 
Felhide Brawler, Afara's Radiance, Kragma Butcher, got another Minotaur there, Loyal Pegasus, Elite Skirmisher, Mortals Resolve, Afara's Enlightenment, first uncommon Pillar of War, Mischief and Mayhem, and oh nice! Toss a coin to your Witcher at the Temple of Plenty! Enters the battlefield tapped, and when it enters the battlefield scry one, you can tap it for green or white, very nice. And a foil, impetuous sun chaser. The forest, and a cat soldier, and you get a cat soldier, and everybody gets a cat soldier today apparently. Next up, Theros. Okay, gods of Theros, where are you? Okay, we've got a ill-tempered Cyclops, Guardians of My Lettuce, Disciple of Phanax, Voyager's End, Scourge Mark, Coastline Chimera, these things are always fun to look at, figuring out what they are, Rage of Perforos, Satyr Hedonist, Read the Bones, Last Breath, Uncommon's Tormented Hero, Prowler's Helm, Favoured Hoplite, and rare is Hundred Handed One, really? Whoa! Creature Giant 3 5 for 4 with Vigilance. It has 3 and 3 white. Monstrosity 3. This creature isn't monstrous. Put 3 plus 1 plus 1 counters on it and it becomes monstrous. And as long as it's monstrous, it has reach and can block an additional 99 creatures each combat. Okay then. That is quite interesting. A planes and a bit about. Theros enchantment creatures. Okay, so they've made a comeback. Guilds up next. Shocklands, where are you? I think we're a bit short of Shocklands from this box. We need a few more. But it's okay, because we have an ornery goblin creature, goblin warrior. And I'm skipping cards, so exciting. Skyline Scout, Veiled Shade, Vigaspore Worm, Devious Cover Up, Erstwhile Trooper. Sky Knight Legionnaire, Whisper Agent, Candlelight Vigil, Sonic Assault, Uncommon's Glaive of the Guild Patch, Glow Spore Shaman, Sun Home Stalwart, and a Mythic! Yes! Arclight Phoenix! Creature Phoenix 3 2 for 4 with Flying and Haste at the beginning of combat on your turn if you've cast 3 or more instant and sorcery spells this turn. Return Arclight Phoenix from your graveyard to the battlefield. Good deal! And a Boros Guildgate and Elf Knight token. So the first mythic, or I should say there's multiple mythics if you count the gods there, but I put those there so I don't know if they really count. Next, War of the Spark. We've got a Raging Crunch, Gideon's Sacrifice, Teferi's Time Twist, Grim Initiate, Shriek Diver, Ward Scale Croc, he'll bite your whole body off, watch out for him. Bane Hound, Trusted Pegasus, Band Together, Spellgorge are weird, Chandra's Triumph, say that ten times fast, first the Uncommons, Flux Channeler, Cura, Behemoth Beckoner, okay, I'll check that in as well, and the rare is Bolus's Citadel, Legendary Artifact 4 6. You may look at the top card of your library anytime, you may play the top card of your library. If you cast a spell this way, pay life equal to its converted mana cost rather than pay its mana cost. You can tap sat 10 non-land permanents, each opponent loses 10 life. Alrighty, get a mountain and a zombie army. Okay, core 2020. What do you have for us today? Okay, we are infuriated. We need more mythics. More land inquisitor, fairy miscreant. Thicket Crasher, Blood Burglar, Marauder's Axe, Destructive Digger, Creature Goblin, Sleep Paralysis, Yoke Docks, Dagger Sail, Aeronaut, yes, we got goblins coming out of our ears today, Angel of Vitality, First Uncommon, Veil of Summer, I can't remember, that used to be over a buck, I'm going to put that in anyway, Ancestral Blade, Oh, Planeswalker, Yes! Ajani is back! Ajani, Strength of the Pride, Legendary Planeswalker, Ajani, 5 loyalty for 4. His plus 1, you gain life equal to the number of creatures you control, plus the number of Planeswalkers you control. It's minus 2, credit, 2 to White Cat, Soldier Creature, Shook and Named, Ajani's Primate, 
with whenever you gain life, put a plus one plus one counter on a Johnny's Pride Mate and his zero ability. If you have at least 15 life, more than your starting life total, exile a Johnny Strength of the Pride and each artifact and creature your opponents control. Okay, so two mythics today. Fantastic. Get a forest and a demon token. All right. Modern Horizons. Maybe I was too greedy looking for Ren and Stimpy. We'll try for an Urza. How about an Urza? Preferably in foil. Or oh, that uh, Sliver dude. He's pretty cool. Leave it out in the comments with your predictions. Will we get hosed or will we find something cool? We've got a spine horn minotaur, choked, choking tethers, okay, not choked tethers, nimble mongoose, headless spectre, pondering mage, knight of old Benalia, rank officer, spring bloom druid, cave of temptation, a regular cohort, and uncommon's undead augur, shatter assumptions, Vengeful Devil and the rare is on thin ice. Snow Enchantment Aura for a single white. Enchant Snowland you control when on thin ice enters the battlefield. Exile target creature and opponent controls until on thin ice leaves the battlefield. Okay, and we've got a snow covered mountain and this one, I think that's Seb McKinnon artwork. Force of Despair, of course, and a non foil shapeshifter. All right, so two mythics, yes. Very nice pulls here today for you, Mad Bra 99 And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button for more Magic Gathering unboxings, and be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. And stay tuned, an absolute ton of Theros Beyond Death content coming up. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.